When we're in Smart Drums, this allows us to create the kind of beat that we're looking for that is the backbone of our song. So for instance, there's a number, number of different options up here. And if you don't know where you're going, in the upper right hand corner, there's always the help button and it'll, it'll kind of guide you through what I'm going to talk through next. So if you're sick of hearing my voice, you can always take a look at these and it's pretty self-explanatory. For now though, let's take a look at the different options over here. This shows us the different types of drum sets that we can use. I'm more of a live rock guy, so I'm gonna start down here with the live rock. Now I can either drop my instruments onto this chart to get my sound started if I know exactly what I wanna get from the percussion set, or I can do something called roll the dice. Let me pause this for a second. Now, as you can see, they're muted right there. It's not doing anything important. I can always drag them back off and get them off the screen so that I can do some other things. For instance, if I roll the dice right here, it allows me to just create a shuffle of what sounds could be created. If I don't like that one, I can roll the dice again and get another sound. Now the way that this works, everything over this way is more simplistic and everything down here is quieter. The more you go this direction, the louder and more complex the sounds get. So if I don't want so much bass drum, I hide it down there underneath some other sounds. Perhaps I want cymbals or cowbell. You can have, never have enough cowbell and toms. Now it allows you to change the feature by dragging your different rhythms to different parts of the graph here as it records. So to start it off, I hit the record button. Give me a four second count off. Now it's recording on its own. And if I want to make it more complex, I start moving things around. The red line before was recording. The green line now demonstrates that it is already recorded and it's saved. I'm going to hit stop. Now immediately, once I'm done recording a rhythm set, I want to backtrack. I want to get that little carrot right there, which is my guidepost for where, where I am in the recording, back to part one. Because if I try and record another feature in a, in a different part of the app, it's going to start recording right there and it's going to make a jumbled mess. So I'm returning back to the beginning. That's smart drums. You can play around with different sets, different types of sets that are maybe more hip hop style and the rhythm or classic. Um, and you can mix and match the different sounds that you create.